Welcome to CNC Fun Time Reading. Today we're going to read Sweet Dreams, Mickey. Mini Starry, Starry Night. Mickey, Minnie, and their friends were enjoying a show at the planetarium. Look at all those constellations, cried Goofy. I see the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, and the Mighty Mickey. <laughs> Gee, said Mickey. Wasn't that a wonderful show? I guess, Minnie replied. But I want to see the real stars twinkling at night, don't you? We might even see a shooting star. Gosh, said Goofy. I like to do some amazing stargazing myself. Mickey thought all the next day. Hmm, he said as he and Pluto walked into the park. Where's the perfect place to see the stars? Pluto began to pant excitedly. He gave two short barks and ran over to the sandbox. That's it, boy, cried Mickey, at the beach at night. That evening, Mickey and his friends jumped into his van and rode off to the beach. I can't wait to see the beautiful nighttime sky, everybody, said Minnie. Maybe we'll even see my shooting star. But when they got to the beach, all they saw was fog. Because they didn't want to waste the trip, Goofy and Donald got out their little grill and started cooking. Get ready to taste my special dish, said Goofy. I call it Corn a la Goofy. Don't worry, Minnie, said Mickey. I'll think of another place to see the stars. The next day, Mickey sat down to think. Hmm, he said to Pluto. Where is the other perfect place to see the stars? Pluto panted and barked two short barks. He ran to the closet and pulled out Mickey's sleeping bag. That's it, fella, cried Mickey. The next best place to see the stars is from a sleeping bag. We'll go camping. Mickey gathered everyone together. They jumped back into the van and headed for the forest. And as they drove, they sang, 99 stars we count in the sky, 99 twinkling stars. If one stops a glowing, we'll shout bye bye. Then 98 stars will count in the sky. When they arrived, Mickey found a great camping spot. Soon the friends were roasting marshmallows over a crackling campfire. Now this is what I call a marshmallow masterpiece, cried Goofy. Later, the friends snuggled down into their sleeping bags. But when they looked up at the sky, all they saw was a huge canopy of trees blocking their view. Oh dear, said Minnie. No stargazing for us tonight. Don't worry, said Mickey. I'll think of something else. Back home, Pluto grabbed a piece of paper from the table and brought it over to Mickey. Mickey began to read. Welcome to Mountaintop, the prettiest little town you'll ever visit. Come and stargaze to your heart's content. Hot dog, cried Mickey. This is it. Back into the van, everybody, called Mickey. We're off to do some serious stargazing. Mickey drove slowly up a steep, windy road. At the top, Minnie cried, Look, the sign says, Welcome to Mountaintop, celebrating our 100th birthday. That night, the town held a great celebration. Boom, 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 one after another, fireworks lit up the sky. Wow, said Daisy, this is spectacular. But I guess we won't be stargazing tonight, Minnie said sadly. Don't worry, Minnie, said Mickey as they got back into the van. I won't give up. Back home, Mickey dropped everyone off except Minnie. Do you want to keep me company while I walk Pluto, he asked. Sure, said Minnie. Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto strolled around the neighborhood. Suddenly, Pluto started to pant. He barked two short barks and pointed his nose to the sky. Looking up, Mickey and Minnie saw the most beautiful display of twinkling stars imaginable. And just then, a shooting star raced across the sky, right in Mickey's backyard. My stargazing wish came true, cried Minnie. Thank you, Mickey. Mickey smiled and knelt down to pat Pluto. And thank you, fella, he said with a wink. Thank you for joining CNC Fun Time Reading. Stay tuned for some more reads.